template oh, this right, right, uh, right, right column, mm-hmm. right column. So the 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 upper the the top one template this is ms word version 2.3 i think uh i don't know yes yeah you go okay to this website okay to the sps.utm.my slash thesis dash formatting dash 2018 backslash and go to the this okay so i think this this one right so download yeah and put on your drive then open the file Stop. Is it my connection? Ah, uh, because ah, uh, I can see a square of grey area when you try to share your screen. Yeah, yeah, this is my version, Webex version. So oh, okay. Ah, uh, there is a overlay on the top of my screen. So. And the, on this laptop, uh, I'm using 2000. No, no, I'm using Windows 7. So, sorry to interrupt, Doctor. The version yes. 2.3, is, the link is in the chat box directly to the version 2.3. Yes, yes. yes. Zip file. Huh? That, that's the, the direct link to the file. But if you open the SPS website, so you should see what I'm seeing. Huh? But anyway, I think I can stop sharing and then pass it over to the session to Dr. Nozal. So I I have to uh, uh, leave. Oh, I, I will I will leave. Uh, I mean, I will stay on the session, uh, but I will just monitor. Okay. So thank you, Dr. Nozal. Okay. okay again, thank you, Dr. Tambri. Okay, um, it's already 8.47. Uh, participant, have you um, downloaded the thesis template? The, we stay near the time, then just, okay. So yes, I think uh, we should start now. Then if we finish earlier, then we can, we can uh, end the session earlier, right? Okay, so let me share my screen first. Okay, I'm, go I'm going to turn off my video while I uh, share my screen. Uh, I'm afraid uh, it will interrupt my connection if I turn on my video and uh, the template uh, and the slide. Okay, uh, if uh, you have any question during my presentation, just uh, you can just interrupt. All right, clear the style that I'm going to deliver to you. Okay. Okay, can you see my screen? Okay, so actually, um, I'm preparing for the Microsoft Word Advanced and for information, I am uh, have a course from basic to advanced, but today I am focusing on our UTMT system plate because my expectation, our participants today is a pro, uh, postgraduate students, uh, final year students, and maybe third year students, because they are going to prepare for the industrial uh, in a report later on. Okay, so this is me, um, and uh, most of the students call me Dr. Yana. Actually, I have a lot of experience in editing, 
as well as uh, become as an editor for the conference proceedings, right? But I think uh, that one is based my own experience. However, nowadays, uh, everyone is need uh, for a certificate. So I take initiative uh, to take this uh, certificate in Udemy during the pandemic. Okay, so here this uh, as a, my, my certificates. Lah. So I can make it proper from beginner to advance. Okay, what I'm going to uh, present today is uh, it relates to the UTM thesis template. Okay, how can you open the way you can open the word template file and how you can uh, attach another document in your docs file. So in this case, you will want to um, attach your thesis template in the new document file. And then how can you add Word document into another Word file? Because sometimes I can see student, if they have a two file, two Word file, okay, they will take a copy all uh, the content in the first file and then it will paste to the second file. But now you, you I can share uh, the, the easier way to add file into a file in Word. And then uh, related to the formatting, where I think this is the most uh, problem that uh, the students are facing, especially when doing the table, when doing the figure, okay, because uh, they will have a problem where they enter, then the figure will go to the other pages. So this kind of thing we are going to touch today. Okay, we have a referencing. Then uh, here I'm going to talk about uh, how can you make your figure table equation uh, automatic update in the field. Okay, and use the cross reference. So this will save a lot of your time doing the formatting for your thesis template, your assignment report, and etc. And how at last you can update your TOC and uh, list of figures and tables and submit for your thesis or report so that's all the present that's uh, what i plan for today okay so first of all okay if you notice the utm thesis template that you have the, uh, that you have downloaded is in dot dotx format can you notice this one dot dotx format it's not docx okay so any word file with dot dotx it is a word template okay when we talk about the template it means that inside that document you have the formatting it's already um, set up a formatting for that document you don't need to adjust anymore okay so here there are two ways to open this one okay so this is the format okay it's a dot dotx you need to go to the folder where you save the UTM thesis template and then you can right click or double click this file. Okay, you can do it um, while, I'm, while I'm sharing or tech, um, uh, presenting here, I want you to do it. So if you have any question, then you can just ask me how you can troubleshoot your problem. Okay, so when you, okay, then double click will be a new document. Double click means that um, if, if you, you can use a right click or double click. So if you uh, choose to double click this, this uh, document, the name of your file become document one word. Okay. So you can edit in this file and attach the UTM thesis style in this uh, format, in this file. Or if you take a right click for this file, you are going to remain in .dotx file. If you adjust here then it will affect the 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 original template okay so this is a how or the way you can open the word template 
and normally it's not for the UTM thesis but if you want to submit a paper to to journal or conference they will share with you either latex or microsoft word okay and the microsoft word normally it's in this template.dotx however as a, as an editor i have a problem where uh the the participants of the conference didn't follow that format because i think uh they don't know how to uh, edit using this template and how they can use the style that have been in that template so it will become a uh, very tedious to us editor to edit the document again okay so for now clear all right eh? okay so now i'm finished with the uh to open this uh utm thesis and this one can be uh, used for the journal and the conference proceeding template as well okay and then how to attach utm thesis dot dotx in docx this is a normal documents that you open from microsoft word okay and this is the template of our utm thesis all right so you can just open a new blank document in microsoft word and then you need to have a developer tab okay if you never use the developer tab you can see the tab in this ribbon anyone here didn't have developer tab may i know or all of you have this uh, developer tab in your ribbon or on your ribbon Okay, I can see that you don't have that developer tag. So how can you uh, make that developer tag appear in your ribbon? You can just go to, to your file and click more. Okay, you click more and option. And then you click option. Okay, you go to file. You click more. You click option. Okay, so this is the view how you can get this option. After that, you can see this figure. Can you see this window? After you click option. All right. After that, you go to the customized ribbon. Okay, after that, you go to the customized ribbon. It's here. sorry okay you go to the customized ribbon what happened when you go to the customized ribbon you can see this one right you will get this window okay after that you click the developer track here Okay, you click the developer checkbox here. Then the developer tab that uh, will appear on your ribbon here. You get this tab? Just give me any uh, emoji so that I can uh, get all right. So clear. Okay. Now you have the developer tab. Actually, in uh, Microsoft Word Advanced class, this developer tab can be used to create a form in Microsoft Word, and there is a lot of uh, things that we can use uh, using this um, function in Word. Okay, but not all people uh, knows that how powerful the developer tab in Word. Okay, so now. You can you have the developer tab okay in your ribbon you click the document template okay you click the document template okay after you click the document template the last part which last part is it this part 
uh, developer checkbox. You go to the customize ribbon. Okay. Malik, you go to the customize ribbon. You will see this windows. Okay. Go to this one eh. Customize the ribbon. You tick this developer tag. The checkbox. Okay. You just tick here. Okay, Malik. Uh, yes, Dr. Rinda. All right. After that, you just click OK. Okay. Then we, we, uh, you go back to your Microsoft Word. You will see that uh, there is a developer tab on your ribbon here. Clear? Hello, Doctor. Yes. Please, can you, please, sorry, can you um, repeat the process again, please? Just... Okay. Uh, starting from where? The first is you need to go to the file. Okay, you will see this. Okay. And then you click more, uh, you go to the more and you click option. Hover your mouse here and then you will get, get uh, this feedback and option. Tick option. Okay, after you click option, this window will appear. Click customize ribbon. <clears throat> okay, so far okay. Okay, after you click that customize ribbon, you will get this window. Go to here, the customize ribbon. All right. Just click developer here. Tick developer and click OK. Is it OK? OK? OK. And then? You will see yes, this yes, developer okay. tab. All right. Okay. So you can uh, see this developer tab. All right. After that, you can go to the developer tab. You click this document template. Okay. You click the document template. Okay. You will get this window. Okay. You attach the UTM thesis template.dotx here. Make an attachment. The document template in your Microsoft Word here. You get it? Okay. Then you click OK. Okay. Now you already attach the UTM thesis template in your document. So what will happen later, you can see all the formatting style in your document. So after this, what you need to do is you need to worry about your content of your thesis or your report, not the formatting anymore. All right. Okay. So now, all right. When you click OK after you make the attachment, okay, you can go to this um, home uh, tab in your ribbon. Okay. So you, you can see these uh, things. Can you see this style on your uh, word? Hello, doctor. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sorry, I can't find. I can't find the UTM thesis. Okay. Can you go to the chat and you need to download it first? Okay. Okay. You need to download UTM thesis template version 2.3. Maybe recent you can help me to paste again the link in the chat to help our, our friends here. All right, doc. All right, Doctor Nozab, give me a moment, huh? Okay. 
Okay. That's, uh, all right. So while well, that Dr. can Fats. I proceed? Uh, I proceed uh. first. If you have any question, then uh, I can uh, go to you back later. Is it okay? Uh, excuse me, Dr. Uh, yes. Uh, do we have to add the... Do we need to press the add button in the uh, templates? Yes, yes, yes. Wait, eh? Yes, yes. Attach ni. You, uh, add, no, you just attach. Attach. Alright, alright. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Uh, lepas you, you click attach, you need to find where you 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 save your UTMTCS template. After that, you just click OK. You don't um uh, use this one uh, yet, okay? We use this one, document template only. Okay. okay. Dr. Abu, Abu pun the UTM template body show me uh, by WinRA 4. Point something, something. Yes, you need to extract the file first. Okay. Okay. Okay, After I've seen you the file. Extract, yeah. Yes, you open the the dot uh, dotx. Right, you can see UTMTC template dot dotx. Okay. You can you you can just double click. If you make a double click, you don't need to do this kind of process. Okay, because you already opened the template. This okay. one, if uh, this one, this uh, step, okay, the step, uh, the previous step here is when you uh, open like a normal document. Okay, you open normal document and then uh, you want to have the style in UTMTC template, then you can use this one. So this is actually applicable to any report that you want to do, not only for the UTM thesis only. So later, if you um, become a worker, okay, you need to submit a report arrival. Okay, you can just use uh, the formatting style in UTM thesis template where it's, it is uh, very helpful. Okay, and your, your task will be easier and uh, save a lot of time. Okay, all right. So now we proceed. Okay, after you uh, attach the UTM thesis template inside your document, you will see this kind of style. Okay, can you see this style? Okay, if you cannot, you just go to this one. You just click this uh, small uh, arrow here. Okay, and then you just drag and put the style here. Okay. Can now everyone get this style? All right. Yeah. Okay. If. Okay. So this one is another trick that I want to share with you. If you have two separate documents, normally, okay, this is my tip. So I just uh, share my experience when um, I do uh, documentation, eh? but no, uh, previously when I did my PhD, I am using Lix, another word processor to complete my uh, thesis. However, when I conduct a Lix workshop, not all the students can uh, follow because um, Lix is quite similar to LaTeX. Okay, so it's very difficult to most of the students. That's why uh, now I'm conducting uh, Microsoft Word because I think everyone is uh, familiar with Microsoft Word. Okay, uh, my tip is you write your thesis or chapter uh, or your report chapter by chapter. You have chapter one, you have chapter two, you have chapter three. So you can uh, write it chapter by chapter, put it in a folder. 
Okay. So when you complete all this chapter, you add all into a one file. Okay. If you want to do that, because this is we have a lot of things in one chapter, right? It's very difficult to just copy and paste and the formatting will um not in a good condition. So what you can do is you can add chapter two into your chapter one file and then you can get a new file consists of chapter one and chapter two and then you can repeat that um uh, steps with other chapter so how can you do that all right you can go to insert tab in your ribbon here so you go to the insert tab Okay, uh, recent, uh, do you record this session? Because I, uh, participant asked if you can record this session. Uh, doctor, the, mm -hmm. actually the session is recorded. Later, maybe after the event, we will, sh we will possible, possibly share this, um, this uh, seminar again as, as the video to the participants. And actually, this, this uh, seminar is recorded, record in progress. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right. So no you don't worry. Uh, all right. Okay. So uh, later, all the participants will get this uh, recorded file, right? Okay. Uh, maybe I can share my uh, PDF slide after this session as well. So that's easier for all the participants to refer to after this, okay? No problem, right. doctor. Thank you so much. Okay. So now you go to the insert tab on your ribbon. You can see this one, eh? Go to this, uh, I can say a column here that you have a text box here, but you click this one. The small uh, arrow down here, you click this one. Okay, and then you click text from file. Okay. By doing this, you can add chapter 2 into the chapter 1 file, chapter 3 into the uh, chapter 1 file. So it means that you can just put any cursor after uh, the end of your chapter 1 and then you go use this uh, step to add chapter 2 after that chapter 1. Okay, so same goes to any other uh, report or any document that you want to have in the future, you can use this trick as well. Okay, so that's uh, how can you add uh, another document into your Word file. Okay, so now I think um, I'm done with the uh, small, small uh, tips uh, and tricks in Microsoft Word. Then let's focus in on our formatting in UTMTC template. Okay, so now... Uh, uh, sometimes I like to to show the text boundaries right i i want to have this uh, uh word to help me okay so uh you go to this one eh okay you go to the advanced okay this one is a file option previously you click the customized ribbon right so this the same step you you, you do the same step but you click this one advanced Okay, you get it, this this point. Okay, when you click advance, okay, uh, show document content, you click this one, show text boundaries. Is it clear? Okay. When you show uh, this text boundary, okay, you can see uh, dotted lines appear in your document to remark the limits of the text elements. So this will help you for your documentation. If you want to see this uh, dot line, then you just untick this one. Okay, normally when I want to insert a table in my document, I will untick this one. Okay. So this is uh, how it can help you <clears throat> showing your, your, what we call it, your um, document looks uh, nice. Okay. 
So I think I'm going to stop my my uh, PowerPoint here because I want to open my Microsoft Word so that we can do it together uh, in the UTMT system. But, okay, so give me some time so right, to open my Microsoft Word first. Okay, now I already opened uh, my Microsoft Word. Okay, so hope we are we can work together. Hope we can work uh, together. All right. Okay, so here when you open um, I just okay you can write you can edit for your title here okay never delete this gray box here never delete this one because this actually give uh, the spaces that we want between the your title as well as your name here so what you need to do is you just write down uh, your title here, okay? And don't delete, never use delete, use backspace instead of delete, okay? Because if you delete this one, okay, can you see that you are making another gap here? That's why never delete here. Okay, you just backspace and if you have only two lines, so this one you just backspace. Okay, backspace. Okay, so this one will be your title, your first line title. Okay, your first line title. And this will be your second line title. Okay, you just use the backspace. Is it clear? okay so yes, same goes so. okay and then you can edit your name here okay you can do it now because after this you have a ready thesis template later on you just need to worry the content for your thesis all right so you can edit your name by just pressing the backspace here okay pressing your backspace uh, then you edit your name here Okay, this one just leave it because it is a University Technology Malaysia here. Okay, so we settle with your title and your name here. Okay, this one is normal, eh? Okay, so again, never delete this box. Okay, and here you can see choose an item. For your information, this kind of thing you can do it if. Uh, using developer actually okay because this one is like a form in uh, microsoft word okay so never delete this one okay you just go choose an item here drop down here never um, delete or backspace this one because i can find students uh edit because they do not know how to use this one Okay, so they edit, uh, like they edit a, a normal word here. Okay, they use a backspace and write it. Okay, so you don't need to do that. You just use this one. So choose I. And then you choose the item here, I or we. It depends. Okay, and then you can choose your item here. This is for PG, postgraduate. This uh, proposal, if you want to have a proposal. Okay, dissertation. Okay, so you can choose the item here. Or for FYP, you choose project report. Or for the industrial <coughs> training report, choose project report here. 
Okay, let's say project report. Okay, so now for SV. Okay. Alright, maybe my, I can't remember the day, but you know this one well, right? So this one, option this, document type. Is it thesis, dissertation, or proposal? So you can just proposal sufficient in terms of scope and quality for the award. Okay. Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Engineering, Master of Philosophy, Bachelor of. Okay. All right. So this one, you edit lah. Bachelor of what? Okay. And then, and then, write down your supervisor's name here. Okay, so this one, if you only, if you have only one supervisor, you just uh, remove one here and you edit using backspace and eh? never delete using backspace. You edit your supervisor name here and the date will be here. Okay, the rest, okay, the rest here, you just uh, select and make it white okay so that uh everything will be in the place never delete because we don't want to have any problem with our format okay so if i uh didn't take that one so can you see it's very nice right okay clear everyone All right. Okay. So I, I like to use this one. Okay. <clears throat> because this is uh, how can I see the paragraph. Uh, so it's very helpful for me for, for, for editing. Okay. So again, eh, never did it. You just make it white. Okay. So we, 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 we have done with this, this declaration uh, page. Okay. So this one I don't want to touch. Okay. So again, this one is similar. To the first page okay similar to the first page uh, that i uh, explained to you eh if you have one line so you just use backspace and write down here this one you just uh backspace like this one okay same goes to this one okay again this one you choose an item degree of what Master of, then you add lah, you add on. Master of what? Okay. So this one we take as a school of engineering. Okay, you you can edit here. Uh, your, your school's name here. And your faculty here. Alright, so don't forget to edit this one as well as this one. Based on your school and your faculty. Okay, so far clear? All right. So this one, don't forget to edit uh, date you submit the thesis. Okay. Same goes to the declaration page. You just um, choose the item here and then edit your title of thesis here. And then you can choose the item here. All right. Your signature will be here. Your name will be here. And date of submission. I would like to remind you, date of submission, uh, this one uh, is very nice uh, if you can have a same date you sign with your supervisor. Okay, but it's not a compulsory, uh, just uh, it's very nice. Uh, it likes that you sign and your, your, your supervisor signs at the same time, the agreement. Okay, so that will be the uh, declaration page, this one. And dedication, you can just edit here in this box. Okay, never delete this box, right? So when I click this one, can you see this one? In the start, it shows that, okay, this is dedication. And the format for this one, the line spacing for this format is already uh, followed the UTM thesis template. So never adjust anything in this paragraph style. You just backspace and edit. You just need to think about the content that you want to write here clear everyone never touch this part because we already set up 
Okay, the person who create this UTM thesis is already set up for you. If you want to see this one, you can just hover your mouse here. Can you see this one, the dedication? You can see the paragraph is alignment. Okay, all right. So the style is here. If you hover here, then you can see the style that have been set up for you. Okay, so for the acknowledgement, can you see the format here is title at preface? Okay, so the format is setting for you. Okay, so here is the acknowledgement. Can you see the style here, acknowledgement? Okay, so this is the function of this style. Okay, you. that's why I said that if you have this kind of template, you can use this style for any document that you want to create later. Okay, when you write, then you can just use this style. Okay, you just click this one, then it will automatically update, uh, follow this document for you. Okay, so this one, you just uh, con concerned about what you're going to write in this acknowledgement. And then abstract, again, the title at preface. Okay, um, there are two types of formatting for abstract. Okay, listen carefully. Abstract, normally we will write our abstract in one page only. If you see in this style, it is abstract 1.5 line. Okay, can you see if I click, I, if I click abstract 1.5 line, can you see is the spacing between line is uh, more compared to the abstract single line. Okay, so first use abstract 1.5 line. Okay, however, if your abstract exceeds one page, you can just Click abstract single line to make it in one page. Just click by clicking the style that you have here. Is it clear? Clear? Okay, this is abstract in Malay. So again, this one is 1.5. Okay, this one is 1.5. If um, uh, it's more than one page, then use the single line. And this one, as you can see here, okay. Okay, as you can see here, this one is a paragraph. Eh? Uh, because now when I, I, I click, it's only a uh, change for this paragraph. Okay. It's didn't uh, for the whole uh, document because we have the paragraph here. If you want to uh, to make one click and it adjusts everything, you just remove this one. Okay, same goes to this one. All right, so it will follow because this one is for one paragraph. This cursor, these symbols mean it's a one paragraph. So if you open here and this is the end of your paragraph you click at anywhere in the paragraph it will change this paragraph uh, that's why i love to use this one because it can shows me uh the formatting here all right okay so this is uh your abstract and table of content um my advice never uh touch this table of content okay uh, for the time being you you don't you don't need to touch this table of content because it already prepared for you okay so uh this one is uh, already set up for you and if you want to change because this one might not um uh what we call it uh similar to what you have in your thesis Okay, you can edit later in the document, not in this page. Okay, you just need to edit in the document and then after you finish editing in your document, you just right click here and you can edit your TOC later. Okay, update file here. Okay, by right click this one, update file. And this will 
update everything including the pages and the heading that you have here so for the time being never change this one right okay another one is when we have this one okay you don't need to scroll down 100 pages of your thesis you can just click view here navigation pane and it will appear here all right so easy for you to navigate your document especially for the postgraduate students you have 100 pages of your thesis okay so now we go to the list of table here okay so again for the table never uh, change anything here yet all right okay because this one for the table of content list of table list of figure you can update later okay because you can have the update file here okay this all is under table of figure here okay can you when you click for the table okay you can see this one sorry all right so this this will be our style here okay all right so but uh, same goes to the list of figures here okay update later first you you concern about your content okay this one you need to do it manually i'm sorry this one you need to do manually you need to see the list of your aberration in your thesis or report and then you can do it manually okay this is actually a table if you want to see how the table looks like you can go to home you can go to this one you can make can see this is all table for you it's already for you okay if you uh, have only a few lists of aberration you can just delete this one okay never don't um uh uh, if you don't have any list of aberration, then you can just remove this page. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> this one go back to the known border. Okay, same goes to the list of symbol. You need to do it manually. But list of the appendices, it, it will um, update to you later. Update file. Eh? It will update uh, automatic update. Okay, the the most important thing is how you use this header in uh the content later on so that this uh will uh update uh automatic to you okay so far clear before we go to the chapter assalamualaikum alaikum salam yeah uh regarding the list of symbols and uh that you said if we don't have any symbols we should delete right yes yes yeah uh but uh, in, earlier on you said we shouldn't delete anything now how do we delete the page completely do we delete the page completely or we delete what we have here the, if you don't right have of... any if you don't have any list of symbol delete it completely so the you page. don't uh you don't need to have uh any page of aberration or symbols okay okay mm. thank you so much so but how right. do we delete the page how do we delete the page um okay you can just uh select and delete but now i don't want to touch anything here because that yes, will uh, affect my uh, yes, so you I, can underst just, I understand yeah. uh you can just uh uh select and delete just uh okay delete uh press delete <laughs> okay so uh okay. doctor <clears throat> yes supposing mm. supposing when we select if we don't have any um, symbol to write and then put it in white again is it okay okay a lot yeah. Of yeah okay can you see that now i delete the the um, the list of the title uh -huh. Yes, I delete. And now can you see there is nothing here? Yes. That's why you can just delete everything here. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so it will update to you later. So okay. let me <laughs> control Z. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Another question?
it's okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, welcome. Any other question? Okay. If you don't uh, have sorry, any other questions. Uh, yes, sorry. yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Based on the, my name is Musa. Yeah, the moment, in fact, I'm highly impressed with this present, uh, this your presentation. Mm -hmm. And uh, in case maybe, okay, based on the template, maybe uh, the list of uh, symbols, maybe aggravation is just one page. And then maybe you have up to two pages. Is there any need to extend or? Yes, yes, you, you, you can extend. No worries. Okay, okay you just, uh, because this is a table, normally, okay, my practice, uh, before um, I finish editing this one, because now when we do it, we can't see the table, right? So it's very difficult sometimes. So normally I will uh, put a border first. Okay, you can just tap, then you can add, right? So it will go to the next page, right? Can you see? Yes, yes, bro. Ah, okay. Uh, so after you finish editing, then you can go here and put it no border. That will look like uh, look nice for you here. Okay, so for this one, right? Okay, you can have any other list of symbols early uh, here. Clear. Thank you, doctor. All right. Okay. Okay, this one, like uh, I, I do something so we can see. So this will update for you later. All right. So this one, I'm going to remove it first. Yeah. I don't want to touch my, my template. All right, so we we'll go back to the normal. Okay, so uh, now we go to the chapter one. Okay, done with this of um, all list here, listing here. Okay, we can go uh, directly to our chapter one. Okay, can you see this? Uh, the 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 curve arrow uh, arrow here. This one is heading number one. Okay, you need be uh, you need to know or uh, familiar with this type of heading, eh? Okay, this will be heading number one. This will be heading number one. This will be heading number two. I click here. I can see the style here. Okay. Okay. So for this one, okay, to get this kind of thing, okay, what you need to do is you can uh maybe I blank document. I created a blank document. Hmm. Good, eh? Okay, so now I have a blind document here. Okay, I have a blind document here and I want to write a chapter here. Let's say uh, it's a literature review. Okay, let's say it's a literature review. Okay, so after I, um, what we call it, after I, I write this one, then I go to the shift enter. Then I will get this one. Eh? You want to get this one, you press shift and enter uh simultaneously at the same time you 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 this one after that you shift you enter okay you get this one you get the one uh doctor uh you yes. mean uh if you want to keep in the uh in the heading so we have to uh, press shift enter is that or what you uh, because uh this one eh, i show maybe because uh, i'm sorry maybe because i didn't put it here eh? let's say chapter two okay we have a chapter two and then now we have uh, sorry my spelling chapter 
Okay, so as you can see the format here, because this one is already in the format, but here I want to show you uh, the function of this so that if you want to create a new document in your future, you, you know how to use this one. Eh? So can you see that we have a chapter one here and there is a spacing between chapter one and the title of our chapter, right? And we need to follow this one. If not, you your TC will be rejected by the SPS. Clear? Okay. So now, what I want to do is, I want to make that spacing. This chapter and the chapter name. So how I can do that, I uh, shift and enter three times. One, two, three. Then I can get this kind of spacing similar to what we have in this template. So far clear? Yes. All right. Okay. So now we know that this one is heading number one. So you just click heading. So everyone is, uh, every, everything is here for you. Clear? This one is actually heading number one. Ni is actually uh, is done for you. So that's why I did it. I didn't write chapter two at the at, at, at the beginning. Okay, because once you click, then this one will appear for you. <clears throat> this uh, literature review become as a chapter one because I don't have any other chapter before. Okay, and when we use this heading style, can you see in navigation is appear here? So this uh. These are the things that will um, update or when you, you insert the table of content later. So the things that appear here will be in your table of content. This one, if you do it manually. However, for the UTM thesis, it's already for you. Okay. I just show the manual here because you can see if you 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 have a blank page so how can you do this kind of things so clear is it clear everyone <clears throat> okay for this one we have a any question Okay, if no question, then we go for the uh, subchapter. Okay, this one is our chapter, and this will be our subchapter. Okay, let's say, let's say here when I enter here, can you see the spacing between literature review and the first content is uh, already set for you? But here, can you see this is normal? Do not use. Okay, but we can just type it as a uh, introduction to our. Can you see now, okay, when you type this intro, intro, the word is predicting for you. So you don't need to type D-U-C-T-I-O-N. So you just type and then you can come with, uh, the, the introduction will be uh, there for you. Okay, it's very um, convenient now. So here you just click heading to, then it will update for you as well as in the uh, navigation here. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. So again, when I enter, I uh, literature, let's say it's a literature review. I see. Okay. So again, this one will be my uh, another subchapter. So I make it as a heading two. So it update for you, for me, eh? 1.2. Okay. So let's say. I want to talk about literature uh, related to the reference number one. Okay, reference one. Okay, so this one will be my uh, sub, sub, sub chapter under this one lah. So this will be my heading number three. Clear. So you just type and you just play around with the style here. So this is how you can edit in this later on okay because you 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 might have an, a, any uh, another chapter here another sub sub chapter here okay or you want you don't want to have this equation or qu quotation then you just uh, delete this heading 
uh, in this thesis template. Okay, so that's why I show the manual uh, way as well. Is it clear? Until we back once. Okay. okay. Normally, uh, we, I think, uh, we can use until uh, heading number four if I'm not mistaken. So you need to check that one. Okay. Let's say, uh, reference, reference one. Let's see. Eh? This one will be un, uh, under this reference one, right? So this will be. Oh, sorry. This will be ref uh, heading number four. So you have one, two, three, <laughs> four. So four levels of uh, number, four, uh, four level of a heading. Even though here uh, listed until nine, but uh, just use until uh, heading four. This is my suggestion for your uh, thesis. Is it clear? Okay. All right, so now we settle with the uh, heading. Okay, with our header here. So we settle. Now let's take a look at the content here. Okay, so let's say I create a random here. Okay, so I have one, two, three, and four paragraph here. Okay, so I have four paragraph here. All right, so um, now I want to actually um, show to you how can you use the paragraph style here. Okay, so let's say in this introduction, this will be your first paragraph. Okay, so you scroll down in the, um, okay, what we call it, uh, style. Okay, so if you have a paragraph, to paragraph okay if you have paragraph and paragraph you need to choose para to line okay can you see para to line here so you just click here <clears throat> then it will do the formatting for you sorry <clears throat> okay so can you see this one if you have a paragraph here and you have another paragraph here choose para to line for this paragraph same goes to this one because you have another paragraph here so you can just use para to line here is it clear okay all right so if after the paragraph you want to add a figure okay let's say i want to add a figure here okay i have a picture here right so let's me reduce this one okay so what you need to know is, okay, for this paragraph, if you have paragraph to a picture here, you need to choose para to A. Can you see? There is a para to line here, and this is a para to A. Okay, so para to line is paragraph to paragraph. Okay, paragraph to paragraph. So you choose this one for the para to line. But now this paragraph with uh, after this paragraph you have a picture. So you choose this one, you should choose para to A. Okay, para to A. Is it clear? Figure or table. If you have figure or table after this paragraph, you need to choose para to line. Okay. Clear, eh?
Okay, now, this is the last paragraph before the next subchapter. So this one, choose para 4A. The last paragraph before another subchapter, choose para 4A. Clear? Hello, doctor. Yes. Uh, sorry, before we proceed, uh, this picture does it have the standard size? Oh, in in your TC, huh? No, I'm uh, just asking generally. Do you have standard size for the pictures? It should be exit so by so mm. of size. Mm, based on my experience, when I writing my uh, PhD thesis, okay. What, uh, because uh, in our thesis, normally our picture is for our, uh, in my case, I have a lot of graph, right? So my supervisor asked me to put uh, two picture or <coughs> actually a picture as a half of this, um, half of this uh, page. Uh. Okay, okay. Okay, it depends on your supervisor. Okay, but sometimes you might have um, a several par uh, graph that you want to, what we call it, uh, to compare to. Okay, so you are going to have figure figure one, A, B, C, D. Am I right? Normally, we can see in uh, general in, in general writing, right? Yes. So, okay, so that one will be become smaller. Uh, so I will I will show to you. I think that is uh, one of my content uh, today. So I'm going to show to you how can you add the picture later. Uh, but uh, so far uh, for this time being, uh, we are looking uh, for the paragraph style first. Okay. All right. So hope now. Um, okay. Uh, before I forget, if you have one paragraph. Okay. If you have one paragraph. Okay, if you have one paragraph. Okay, again, eh? Uh, so, okay. Uh, one more thing. Can you see that there is another paragraph here? Okay, I copy here. I copy this paragraph to this uh, area. This is uh, one cursor here, right? So, don't forget to backspace. Because this will affect your uh, spacing between the uh, the title and the next title. Okay, so don't forget to remove this one. So you need to backspace because this is a normal um, mistakes that I receive uh, from students as well as when I become and uh, I receive a papers right. So this this is a quite uh, normal error. Okay, that's why uh, my students uh, they need to if they submit uh, first report normally they will uh, come with a uh, second time, uh, third time because I don't uh, satisfy with their formatting. Okay, now if you have only single paragraph under the sub chapter. Okay, you need to choose para four line. Clear. I repeat, eh? Para four line uh, is to be used when you have only single paragraph under this sub chapter. Okay, for para four A, you are going to use this one if this is the last paragraph in the subchapter. So that's the difference between this one and this one. So this one is single paragraph in this subchapter. So this is part of a line. Clear, everyone? Clear? Yes. Right. Okay. 
So for the paragraph, I think uh, I'm done. Okay, next we go to the uh, page layout here. Okay. Okay, you go to the layout. Okay, layout tab on your ribbon here. Okay, you can see there is a break here. Okay, there are two types of break. The first one is page breaks. The second one is the section breaks. What is the difference between page break and the section break? Anyone? Do you have any idea the difference between the page break and the section break? Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, I'm reading. Uh, okay. Uh, I try. Uh, I'm reading your chat. The chat area. Okay. <clears throat> if you choose page break, okay, you're going to go to the next page. Okay. Only body text of document. Okay. Uh, you can what well, we call it mark the point at which one page ends and the next page begin. Okay, so this is only uh, to mark uh, or to make a separate page. However, however, if you want to make changes of the orientation of other pages, it will affect the whole document. For example, you have a table that need to be presented in a landscape. Okay, if you make a page break here, let's say, let's take a look at if you make a page break here and now you want to make this section as a landscape because you want to insert a table here all right so if you go to the orientation and you choose landscape can you see that the whole document will become a landscape okay but i don't want to uh uh this happen during my writing because uh, we we are going to use the uh, landscape orientation at the certain area only so what one, what you can do is you need to choose the section break okay so this one won't affect uh, the page margin uh, layout uh, in the following or the previous uh, page okay so now I'm going to make it bigger again. Okay, this one. Okay, you can just okay to delete to delete uh this uh page break here. Okay, let's again I make it page break and I want to delete here. Okay, what I can do is uh font you press a font and delete simultaneously, then it will delete. This one is for Windows, eh? Uh, for Mac, I'm sorry, I can't remember. I can't remember uh, the trick for the Mac. Sorry, I can't. I can't recall the trick for the Mac because um, I'm 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 using Windows uh, recently, so uh, I I do a lot of things in Windows, so I forgot uh, the trick in Mac. I can't recall it. I'm sorry. So maybe you need to 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 Google uh, for those who are using uh, words in Mac. So I'm sorry. Eh? Okay. Uh, to delete page break, um, you type font and delete simultaneously at the same time. Press font plus delete. Okay. Okay, now, if we choose break and next page, okay? Okay, now, I want to make this one as a landscape. Can you see only this part change to landscape? That's the difference. Okay, normally, before I, 
I I change this orientation to landscape. Normally, I'll make a open and close first lah. For example, let's take a, this one. I make another break. Okay, so that. Okay, so that when I change this one, I can make it back to the portrait. Okay, so one page break here, another page break here because I want to have a landscape at this page only. Is it clear, everyone? Let me know if I'm too fast. Uh, you need to. Uh, you, 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 you want me to repeat again? Yes, doctor. Okay, which part? The, the section break, because I can see from the, from the, the, the arrangements, uh, the, the landscape page is, is, I think there's a little bit, a uh, little gap. Ah, okay. All right, right. So let me make it bigger again. Okay, I delete everyone. Everything for say? Okay, now uh, I want to make uh, a changes for after this page to become a landscape. But after that, uh, I want to make it a portrait again. So what I did is, okay, uh, you just click anywhere here okay you just click anywhere here you go to the break next page okay so now your cursor is in the next page clear so far clear you can follow all right after that okay let's say i have um i have um one paragraph here okay so now uh i will make another break so that i can change only this page i can change layout for this page only so here i make a break here again session break next page okay so if i make it smaller then you can see that now I this this the first session break will make me move to the next page. All right. And then I have the second session break here. And this one make the cursor move to the next page. Okay, now when this cursor moves to the next page, you can just click uh, anywhere in the area or on the page that you want to change its orientation. Okay, so after you click anywhere here, you can go to the orientation and click landscape. Is it clear? Yeah, clear. All right. Okay, so now it's easy for you to edit here. You just, uh, you can just add table, insert table, then you can have your a very nice table structured in this uh, area. Clear, eh? And <clears throat> this session break, okay, this session break, I use a lot when I write uh, IEEE journal or IEEE conference paper. Okay, sorry, because my electric, my, my background is electrical, so we, we have a lot of uh, template in IEEE. So this one normally happen when we have, uh, sorry, we have a column. Okay, we have a column. Let's say we have a two column here. Okay, so can you see that when you have a column here, you can put a column break as well here. Okay, all right, so let's see. 
Okay, so now let's say you want to make a break at this column. All right, you can again. Ah, uh, this one you need to use continuous. Okay, this one I think ah uh, is out of the UTM thesis template scope, but this is a tips for you to write a two column conference or journal paper. Okay, so now you can use this continuous session break. Okay, you can just go to where you want to put. Normally, when we have a two figure, uh, sorry, two column. And you want to insert a figure which is a bigger figure that um, uh, just after this uh, paragraph. Okay, so you can uh, take a continuous session break here. All right, so you can get this one. And again, okay, you make another session, continuous session break here. Right, so here. You can just enter here. Okay, can you see that I have this kind of cursor here? So now at this particular area, I want to remove the column. I want to make it as a single column here. And then easily for me to insert a picture here. So can you see? All right. So you can have a two column here and you can have a single column here and then it will continue with the two column here. Okay, and if you want to go to the next page, okay, you just go to the breaks and next page. Sorry. Use session break next page, this one first, so that your column will be uh, nicely uh, even like this one. Clear. Oh, you want me to repeat? Is it clear or you want me to repeat? If you want... It's very repeat, clear. Repeat. Okay. Uh, repeat. Okay. All right. Repeat. Okay. So if you want to make it um, uh, two column and then a single column and then another two column, so I can uh, give you a tip that you need to open and to close. Okay. So let's say I did, I delete everything. First. Okay, let's see. I want to have a um, figure here. Let's say this is the place where I want to have a figure here. All right. So uh, you need to open, I can say, uh, because we want to have an area, an isolated area in your in your uh, document that only uh, that area have uh, one single column. Okay, the rest of the document is two column. Okay, so what you can do is first, okay, you go to the break, you go to the session break, you click continuous. Okay, so you click first. Okay, when you click uh, that continuous, you can see this dot, 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 and your cursor is here. Okay, so normally I can enter, all right, and then I can just go to the enter one or two times lah, you can, then you just go back to the break and session break again. You click the continuous. Okay. And this one, normally I will make a uh, backspace because I don't want to have a, a gap. It depends on the formatting of your uh, template. Okay. Now I get this section break. So this one, this, this one is to open and this one I can say to close off my session break. So now I put my cursor here. You can follow my step. Eh? Uh, put your cursor here. You enter. 
second time you enter first time it will go to this area because currently the setting at this area is to column okay that's why when you enter the cursor will move to the next column again you enter you will go to uh, the left column enter it will go to the uh, right column so far clear okay so far clear so you can go to this one okay you click here you click here now we want to make this particular area a single column because we want to insert maybe a graph a picture right so you just go here and you uh, go to column and click one okay go to column click one can you see at this particular area it is only single column uh, that's why i say first you need to open and you need to close because this close section or it's already a section uh, the name is section break but i mean you need to open and close because we want to make this area this particular area only as a single column so far clear this one yes. is very important for your journal or conference uh, writing with two column formatting okay clear all right so now when you have this one then you can add a figure as usual right okay okay so uh, another tip is can you see that the this row is not balanced with this row okay so it doesn't look nice right so you can go to this one you can go to the break you click continuous can you see now uh, this column the content for both column um, is even then it look nicer right clear this is yeah, the clear. function clear. Uh, so this is the function of the session break all right so now you want to move to the next page right so again at this cursor you just click at this cursor break next page then you are going to move to the next page okay so i make it smaller so you can see how nice our document now you have a, a landscape here you have a two column here you have one column here and the balance content between these two column before we can move to the next page clear yeah clear clear all right so i think uh yeah any question sorry for interruption please uh, okay just uh, uh okay just throw your, your your question okay i'm just trying to is this format is okay because uh, this uh paralyzed is not uh it's not appearing in this uh this uh uh, uh two columns and section mm. can you repeat the question can you repeat the question because i can't get your point sorry okay i said this paralyzed two spacing is not uh, appearing in this uh, column section that's the two column section is... oh you want to create a, a two column session Yes, prof. If no, if it's, if the the or if the order if it's the same format, then no, there's no need to explain again. Oh, okay. You can just uh go to this one column. You can choose either two, three, left. Ah, uh, uh. So you can choose one column. Normally, we use one and two column, right, in our writing. Can you get it? Yes. 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 Ah. Uh, so you can use uh the the concept for the session break is similar okay so you can have a session break okay and then you can click anywhere here and click column 
and then you can choose either one or two column here. Is it clear? Okay, any other question? No, I'm talking about the line spacing. The line spacing? Uh, oh, line spacing. Oh, the line oh. spacing for this one. Am I right? Yeah. Mm, Para line spacing. The line spacing for this uh, uh, paragraph, am I right? Yes, Prof. Okay. So, uh, if you want a normal, uh, a normal uh, editing for the spacing uh, of your paragraph, okay, what you can do is you can go to the home uh, tab here. Okay, you can go to the home tab. Can you see the column uh, 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 here? The column here is right, the, the bottom one. Uh, you can see the paragraph. Clear? You click this one. Line and paragraph spacing. You click this one. Can you see the line spacing option is here? Okay. But... If you have any other line spacing, okay, you can go to the line spacing option here. So you can get this window. Okay, so you can adjust the alignment. Either normally we use justify. Okay, so if it is a first line, okay, you can Click first line and adjust it is two for point two five. Okay, so your first line will have point two five. This one depends on your uh, publisher formatting. But normally, when you download the template given by the publisher, they will give you the template. You can just use the style here. Okay, like, uh, yeah. Uh, prof, um, yeah. doctor, doctor. Mm. Yes. Uh, I think uh, the last uh, person that asked question want to actually know whether the the paragraphing style in the UTM thesis format is applicable to a uh, two column documents like this. Maybe para no, no. two. No. Like, uh -huh. No, that we might... didn't. Uh, for the UTM thesis uh, format, it is a single uh, column. <laughs> so what is now? Okay. I lost. Can you repeat? Uh, para think... two a, uh, and so so on. I think that's what he is trying to ask. Whether oh, can be applied maybe. Here. Okay, so maybe he missed my explanation here. Yeah. Okay, so uh, go to this one. Okay. If you have paragraph to paragraph, okay, if you have paragraph to paragraph, choose para to line. But the column is single column in UTM thesis format. Clear? Hello, Dr. Yes? I think I'm um, uh, the... The tips that you now give as a for column, uh, I think the the, the the question I shouldn't mix it with uh, the for, uh, UTM format because UTM format we don't produce it in in column. You should know that this is another extra tip given by the talk show for us to use when we are writing our journals or conference papers. So we yes. shouldn't mix it with the two. So please, I think I shouldn't be taken back because of short of time because today is Friday. Thank you very much. I think you are right. I think you are right. So you don't want to any have any other tips for the uh, general? No, 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 no. The tips you give is okay. It's on uh -huh. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Yes. I'm, confused. I'm, I'm sorry I'm because sorry. I can't yes. see your face, so it's very difficult to understand. No, the tips you give is very important. It's not part of the UTM thesis. We should understand it's not part of the UTM thesis format, but it's also part of our life. Because ah, yes, we, yes. We, pre we are to present papers and we are to write conferences. So it's, yes. it's very important. So we should not mix it with the other one when it comes to spacing and uh, uh, line writing. So we should not mix the two. 
Yes. That's correct. just what I want us to understand. Thank you very much, Dr. All right. Thank you for yes. helping me to clear it Thank out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. So um, for those who are confusing with the para 2 line, para 2A, para 4 line, and para 4E, I will provide my slide later. You can refer to that. And um, our organizer will post this um, uh, recording later so you can uh, watch it again for the part that you miss. Clear? Yes, doctor. All right. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm done with the paragraph. And I think um, uh, since I touch uh, the, the page layout, then I give you uh, tips, okay, for the columns uh, so that uh, it will be very helpful for you for your uh, journal uh, writing letter. So now I would like to proceed with a table. Okay, with a table uh, formatting where I think this one is um, uh, familiar for you. Okay, it's quite familiar for you. Where is my table? Okay, here it's my table. Okay. So, let it make it center. Make it smaller. Okay. All right. So, to add a table, okay, as usual, insert table then you can choose your table here right so once you have a table there is another tab okay can uh, you can uh, see the table design and layout okay it will become an additional tab on your ribbon here okay so this will be your table uh, design and this will be your <clears throat> layout table design you can choose the color and the style and the grid <clears throat> uh, here so i think this is a uh, familiar you are familiar with this one but this one okay um all right this one okay you can go to the auto fit here you can choose either you want to auto fit content so maybe i can write down something okay so when you click your table here okay you can choose either you want to fit to the content see when it fits to the content it fit to what you 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 write inside the table okay but normally um uh if you have a big uh a bigger table then i think uh, better to have a uh, fit to window if uh, the content here is uh, quite lengthy, right? So you can have a uh, adjust to auto fit to window. But if you have um, uh, just a uh, short, short item here to give the parameters of your simulation of something, you can just uh, fit to the content and you can go to home and make it center. Clear. Okay. Right, so for this one, uh, maybe you can have a uh, layout again. Okay, another one is to adjust the content here. All right, so let's see. Okay, can you see that it will adjust uh, a fit to the window since I have um, uh, a very... Uh, long uh sentence here right because i don't put anything here okay so let's say i have so it will adjust for you okay it can automatically adjust for you all right because we already set it to the auto fit content so it will help you to adjust okay so normally what um uh if you Okay, so uh, normally what I can see from my uh, students' report, okay, students' uh, thesis, okay, uh, sometimes the item inside the table is not properly organized, okay, because sometimes they will have a spacing that I can see the dot, then they can have, oh, oh, add it in here. So what you can do is, okay, 
you can set up this one to become a center. All right. So you can use this alignment to help you um, um, adjust the content of your table. For example, can you see if you want to make it center, number one, right? If you want to make it center, you can choose either this one or this one. All right. So this will help you to uh, make your content of your table uh, look nicer. Okay, so this one, if you want to make it a center here, then it will look like this one. Or else, you just put it like this one. Okay, so normally for this one, we will use uh, auto fit and uh, alignment. Or sometimes you can uh, have a distribute column. So it will give a similar size of each column. Okay, if you want to have similar size of row, then you can just click here. So you can get the similar size of your row. So you can create a nice, uh, what we call it, uh, a nice uh, content of the table. So clear, everyone? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. All right. Okay, so that's all for table. Okay, so we we proceed with figure. Okay, we proceed with figure. So now I go to a new page, right? Oh, sorry. It's still in the double column, right? Okay, so okay, so this will be maybe uh, let's say this is your content, so this is your uh, right, so okay, so here this is power to line means that we have a figure here, okay, uh, be careful, okay. If you want to make your uh, figure at the center, all right, you need to move it, uh, this one, because this one is in the formatting of para to line. So it has um, a first line here, right? So you can just go to the normal. Do not use this one because we want to clear the formatting here. Because we want to make our figure later on a center. So now, um i would like to uh share with you uh if if you are if you take your show text boundaries okay uh to to uh working with this figure please untick your show text boundaries first okay because we want to mix around with the dotted uh in our document Okay, because we want to have, uh, because I, I'm going to share with you to insert a figure inside a, uh, what we call it, uh, a table. All right. So now, okay, one time, one table. You just click one time, one table. All right. So you have one time, one table here. You go to insert, choose a picture that you want to add in, then uh, this one you you need to <clears throat> move your cursor inside the table okay so you insert a picture all right so just insert a picture here okay can you see that your picture is nicely in this table okay so here when we have a picture you have another tab here picture format tab all right you can use this um Red text. If you didn't use the table, you can use type. Okay, but I um I love to use table to insert my what we call it my uh picture. Okay, so the position. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So in line. So align. So okay. You can just um uh, wait. okay. So can you see this one? Okay. 
It's a tight here and then right click insert caption. Okay, you can right click and you can go to insert caption. Okay, so uh, this one you can see that you have a label here, label here, okay. <clears throat> It's an equation figure table. And now we have a figure here. Okay. And uh, the caption for figure is below our picture. Okay. But the caption for the table is supposed to be above the uh, table. If you click, if you choose table, then you can see the default is above. If we choose figure, the default is below selected item. Okay. So next, you can go to the numbering. Okay. Uh, normally, for the formatting in UTM, we use format 1, 2, 3. If you use for the journal, you, you need to see the template of your journal, uh, either a Roman. Okay. So either Roman or 1, 2, 3. Okay. So you need to include the chapter number. All right, if you have the chapter number, but for the UTM thesis, of course, we, we use the chapter number. Okay. And uh, I'll start chapter with heading one. All right. And then we use period here. Okay. Clear. Okay. So you just click OK. Then OK. So can you see that there is a caption here? But, okay, but the caption here is not in our format. So let's take a look at the, ah, this one. This caption, this caption is a um, uh, format of the caption which is default in Microsoft Word, <clears throat> okay? But now we want to have our own format of the figure caption. Okay. So our figure caption, okay, you need to choose uh, the, the, the style of our figure caption. So let's scroll here. Okay. Caption for figure. So you can just click this one. <coughs> can you see? <coughs> Sorry. It changed to the format that we use in our UTM thesis template. Okay. And here, it's a caption for figure and another one caption for figure two line. Okay. If your caption is two line, uh, either for figure or for table, you need to choose two line. Okay. But if your caption is only single line, then you choose caption for figure. Okay, because this one is center. But if your figure caption is more than one line, it will be justified. That's the difference. And this kind of format is applicable in mostly writing style. Clear, everyone? Clear. Okay, so after this, you just tap, then you make it a uh, figure one. All right, so this one is on the one line, then caption for figure. Okay, clear? Okay, then next, you go to table design, border, no border. So it will be nicely uh, put this uh, figure at the place that you want to have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, another tips, if you don't want your figure move, okay, because of what? 
when we enter, 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 then your figure will move, right? Okay? Here you want your figure move, you can lock the position of your figure. Okay, you can lock the position of your figure by just right click here. Okay, you go to the red text, red text here. Fix position on page. So she. Ah, so you click fix position on page. What is it? <laughs> So I think, okay, all right, all right, so you need to adjust it. Okay, so after this, you're supposed to have a fixed position, okay. Supposed not to move actually, but here I do not know why it can move now. <laughs> okay, sorry, I think because this one. Okay, let me find it out later because normally when I want to lock my 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 figure, it's actually some I just uh, red text and fix position on page. Maybe because of let me see my. Okay, let's see. Doctor Sue. Ah, so okay. Okay. Okay, for example, this one, eh? Because uh, I never use this one in UTMTCs, but when I use uh, like um, a book writing, okay, like book writing, I have a figure, right? I have a figure actually like this one. Okay, so I want to put my figure at this particular place and I want it to move. Okay, so I I read text and fix or position on page. Can you see when I enter, see the, the figure is not moving anywhere? Okay? Yeah, it's okay. All right. Ah, okay. So this is how you can use that one. But maybe because I put it, uh, this one, I choose it as a square, right? Okay, so here... I need to find my table first. Okay. Uh, maybe because now I, I put it in a, in a table, so it doesn't work uh, in that case. Okay, so it is okay. All right. Because normally we are going to uh, have a figure right after this paragraph when we mention as... Um, as uh, illustrated in uh, figure one okay in figure one let's say right so you can just go to this table because now when we put it in the table then uh, our figure uh, is in a good format okay so this is another way to um, make sure that our content is in uh, a good uh, position all right so here i normally choose as a square here because i want to make it um uh nicely in my table can you see when i put a square then it, uh, the the figure is nicely put in my table so i choose a square here and then i uh, Then go to insert caption. All right. Okay, so this one go to the uh, caption for figure. All right, so tap. After this one, you tap. 
So figure figure one, okay, tab. So you can have your caption here, your first caption. One. Okay. After that, you go to your table here. All right. No border. Okay. So you can see it's a nice um, position for you. Okay. But okay. if you have, uh, sorry. If you have four table, uh, four figure, uh, no, not for, uh, four, if you have four figure, sorry, not four table, you have four figure. Four figure, um, this one I think we use most in our journal or uh, paper mm -hmm. publishing. Okay, we use most in our journal or paper publishing. So you can, we can have A, B, C, D uh, picture. So you can use the same step actually. Okay. Right. Okay, you put it here. Okay. And then be friends. Put to the next. Okay, you go, uh, you take your cursor. Okay, you take your cursor to the next uh, uh, column. Okay, and then you insert, insert uh, another picture that you want to be, uh, want to insert here. All right, and then uh, make it a uh, square here. You can just, okay, if you don't want to, uh, your, what we call it, uh, your figure uh, change, you can, when you, when you square, you click shift so that we maintain uh, the, the height and the, the height and the width of your uh, picture will maintain in the same size, right? So you can just uh, shift and then you drag. Okay. Okay. This will be so now you can uh, go to the table. Then, right. Okay, so then, uh, sorry, you insert another picture. Then again, you insert another picture. Uh, okay, so can you see that you have... Um, you can adjust the... The size of your figure here by clicking the right click here then okay again i will adjust it okay Okay, you can adjust and then you can get the center. So uh, now your figure, this one will be your A, this one will be your B. Okay, so after that, you go to caption for figure, uh, caption for figure, okay? All right, so this one. Okay, maybe I can have my cursor first here.
Okay, you can adjust. Okay, you can uh, refer to this one, eh? Because this, because we know that this is a six, so the middle of our table is three. So you can adjust based on that, right? So now you can have your D here. Hey, where's my cursor? Okay. All right. Okay, so this one I will delete. Okay, after that, you can uh, caption for figure. Okay, you can just click caption for figure here. All right, and then you can go to insert, you can go to reference. Sorry, sometimes my laptop is quite slow when I click references here. So, all right, so insert caption. Okay, go to references, insert, insert caption. Okay, you can, um, uh, because this one is a uh, figure, okay. It's a figure, numbering, make sure you check it. Include chapter number, heading and period because this is the style that we use in our UTM uh, formatting. And then you just click OK and then OK here. And this one again. Go for the caption two line because normally we are going to have a two line. Uh, no, this one will be. This one will be caption for two line. Okay, so after that you tap and then you can uh, write down your uh, caption for your table. So this is uh, how I normally use my. Uh, uh, this table type to insert my figure okay so this one then you can go to the design and no borders then okay this one i did not do it yeah. sorry okay all right Okay, maybe this I need to find out uh, the, because I think this is a formatting that I have here. Okay, so this is how I can uh, use this one to add a few of figures here. Okay, is it clear everyone? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, uh, the last one, I think, uh, it's not last one. Uh, another one is um, equation. Another one is equation. Okay, so for the equation, okay, let's say we have equation here. And then this one will be a clear formatting here because I want to make it center. Okay, what you can do is you can um, insert table okay with the three column table and i will uh, make it the the last column as 0.5 here and this one as a 0.5 here okay the reason is okay if i make it a, a two column here later my equation here is not at the center here so that's why i make uh, a break into three column here okay so this one is the area where you can insert your equation. All right, so this will be your equation here. Okay, this one will be your equation. Okay, so you have the equation style here. Okay, so after you click uh, the, the equation, then you have equation. Can you see that the position is not at the center here? 
So what you can do is you go to the table uh, layout, you can click here. So your uh, equation is nicely here as well as this one. Uh, we make it um, center here. All right. So now you can go to uh, insert. Okay, you can go to insert. You can uh, click this one. Okay, uh, next to the text box, you have this one. You click fill. Okay, you click fill here. And then you find sequence. You find sequence. All right. And normally I name it as a equal. Okay. Equation. So EQ. So I type it EQ. Okay. And I click it OK. So can you see this is my first equation here? All right. So now I want to make it as my uh, normal format. Okay, so I just here go to here and again insert here auto text. Okay, actually I have this one already in my words. That's why I have um uh, what we call it the the uh the format here. Okay, so you can just uh select this one, go to this one, auto text, and save selection to auto text gallery. So that next time, if you want to write the next equation, you can just go to uh, here and select the format here. All right, can you see it? Then this will help you. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't forget to put the parentheses here because uh, in UTM, we use this uh, type of formatting. Okay, you need to have the bracket here. Okay, so this one's supposed to be at the center okay so this uh, will be the format okay let's say you want to uh your your supervisor ask you to add another question here all right so you need to add another question here you just uh again go to here and here and here all right and here and go to here all right okay so you can just update the field okay can you see this will be number one okay clear is it clear Normally, we go to the last one and update the field. So, can you see? If you add another question, equation, uh, and don't forget, I'm sorry, uh, don't forget, before you set it as, um, uh, what we call it, as uh, auto, auto text here, don't forget to remove the line of the equation. Okay? So, it will look nicer without the, uh, the line here. And then, after that, you save it as the, uh, what we call it as the uh, auto text. Okay, so this is what my, my bad. I, I didn't uh, mention to remove the line first. Okay, so clear with the equation. Yes, clear. The setting is okay. However, let's use one equation and see if possible. Uh, in uh, can you repeat your question? I said that the settings is okay, but let's use uh. One equation and to see the one that have very complex equation like this to see we just one. It's an example. Can you can can you repeat because uh I lost okay. a few I words. Said, I said Sorry. the settings the settings is okay, understood. Can we use one equation? I said just one equation to see how to use it how to. Oh, equation, equation without without a number. No, just put equation. Put equation here. Inside the where we the, where the settings. Can we create one equation? Oh, here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Create one equation. Yes. Rob, oh. I think that, let us use a quadratic equation as an example. Then. Uh, to the text. Quadratic is too big. Just yes. small. Just. 
J equals to 1 plus B. 1 plus B, then? Yeah. Equals to just put 5. Yeah. Just for example, uh -huh. to the power of X. It's okay. <laughs> no, let's get it. You uh, contoh, doctor. You contoh, do. Nak contoh? It's a normal equation that you can add in. This one is equation. Then you can use this one to add your equation here. It's okay. Okay, for example, you have exponential. You can choose the exponential here. Basic maths and you can use this one as well. Epsilon here. Okay, so you can have uh, all the, the 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 formula. Okay, because I normally use the basic maths and the Greek letter. We might have a different uh, uh, equation because it depends on our our area. But I think uh, for this one, it's a normal equation. Or you you never use an uh, this equation. May I know? I quite confused. Yeah, I, I use it, but most of the times after uh, printing out, it becomes small. Size is not big. Mm, did you check uh, the formatting here? Yes, I use this formatting, but at the end, it will show me very small, not big, as uh, wide as. That's why maybe I want to see how we can do it to become very large. Oh. I never, uh, I never experienced that, uh, sit that, that, uh, situation because what if I set it as, um, default, uh, as, uh, what we have here. So when I print, I will get the same what I set inside here. For example, okay, let's say, let's say I save it there. Okay, so when we need to convert this one into PDF, right? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I think uh, uh, how can I try this one? Okay. What is the equation? Wait, eh. Now, so, I think it's uh, follow the format that I choose inside the word. Because when we convert it to PDF, it will follow whatever uh, it has in this PDF. Yeah, because, uh, sorry, doctor, because I don't normally put this table inside. That's just why, maybe, the reason. Uh, hmm. Maybe uh, you can yeah. try it doctor? later. Yes, I yeah? will try it. Doctor? Yes, yes, yes. I think what you did was right because someone, we had a discussion with someone, it's exactly what you did. I think it's okay. It's okay, that's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, but this one, I didn't remove the, the, the line. Eh? Don't forget to remove the line. Don't make the same mistake that, my, that I did. Okay. So, that is how you can uh, insert the equation. And the numbering for your equation can be automated, uh, generated for you. Okay, I think this one is the last one. Uh, Cross-reference. Okay, have you uh, tried to use the cross-reference? Cross-reference is actually in references. Okay, this one is cross-reference. Okay, so this one is, is uh, when you click uh, cross-reference, you can see this one. This one, if you want to refer to the, uh, what we call it, to the... 
um, header of your section. Okay, this one. It, you can select uh, number item. Okay, if you want to uh, select for your figure, let's say for the figure. So you choose the reference type figure and then insert reference to insert caption. But I don't want to insert the entire caption. I want to insert only label and number. All right. So I will click only label and number. So I will insert. Okay. So let's uh, take a look at this one. Okay. Let's say this is our table. All right. This is our table. So numbering include chapter number. So okay, then okay. So I have table one. Where is my style here? Okay, so I will uh, make it um, caption for table. So now table one. Okay, so uh, as tabulated in, then I want to refer to this table. Okay, I want to refer to this table as tabulated in, and then I go to reference, I go to the cross reference, mm -hmm. I reference type, I choose table, and I don't want to uh, make it entire caption. I want only label and number, so I put it inside. Close, and then can you see it here? As tabulated in table 1.1. So I put a uh, full stop here. So this is how we can use a cross reference so that we don't need to, uh, when we make a change of this table, then it will uh, change it automatically by just right click update the field. If you make a change in another table later, you can just go and update this field and it will make it uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the document for you. So you don't need to uh, do it manually one by one because you might have more, many tables and, you, and this kind of cross-reference can be used for figure as well. Same thing, okay? So you can just go to the cross-reference, select figure, then only label and number, then can you see it? Your figure is here, okay? So when you add figure with the heading, okay, it will list the figure caption here. So all the figure caption is here. And if you want to refer to other section, okay, so you can use paragraph. Okay, paragraph, where is paragraph heading? Okay, heading text scan. Uh, so you can see this is the paragraph. Uh, for example, you are in chapter three now and you want to refer to what you have uh, right in chapter two in section uh, uh, 2.2, let's say. So you can write it, okay, as I discussed in section 2.2. Uh, so you can just go select this cross reference instead of, instead of uh, write it manually. Because of, you might change your, your section number when your supervisor asks you to rearrange your structure of your format. For example, Okay, now let's say you have one section here and then your supervisor asks you to make, to move this one here. So you can just drag here and go up here. So can you see that now the introduction become 1.2 and all this will change. All right, so you need to update it. All right, so you need to update your table later. Okay, so if you have a lot of for example, you have a okay. okay. Can you see here? So now, let's say your supervisor asks you chapter. Okay, this. Uh, okay, I want this chapter to become this chapter. So you can just use this navigation pane to drag all the component up here. All right. So you don't need to copy and paste again. 
Okay, so this is how this navigation pane is very important uh, so, uh, so that everything can uh, easily uh, manage in your document. Okay, so this is how you can use cross-reference. You can use navigation to navigate or to adjust the content of your of the whole document. All right, and uh, I think uh, that's all. Okay, as I mentioned, the last one after you complete with all these, then you can just go to the table of content and you just right click and update the field update the entire table so you can get uh, a new uh, table for you but now because i didn't uh, do it in this uh, document so nothing much uh, difference okay because i uh, show it you uh, manually okay so i think um, that's all my sharing for today All right, so thank you, Dr. Noza, for such an informative uh, sharing regarding on how to format the, for format the thesis. So without further ado, I'm going to proceed with the Q&A session. So as I believe our participants have a lot of questions already. So to, to all these participants, do remember to leave your questions in the chat box so that I can directly ask Dr. Noza. So here, so here you go. All right, so first of all, any, are there any questions from the participants? You can share in the chat box. All right, so far I, I did not have any, I don't receive any questions. So, well, I'm just give you, I'm just gonna give another five minutes to see if, if there's anyone has questions regarding about the thesis, about the thesis format. Okay, Dr. Norza, can you hear me? Uh, yes, repeat, right. uh, I can read, uh, repeat for the cross reference things, right? Yes, there's one question. There's one uh quest one query from uh, Usman Ilyasu. He was requesting doctor to repeat to repeat about cross referencing. Okay, with eh. Okay, now I use uh the thesis template. Okay, uh so for example, eh, I show to you. Mm, okay, let's say you are in the research methodology chapter. Okay, you are in the research uh, methodology chapter and um, you you want to write in the introduction like this. Eh? Okay. Okay, uh, we discuss a lot. We discuss, we, we discuss, okay, we discuss about uh, uh, Okay, so this is how I want to refer to the literature review uh, uh, part. Okay, I want to refer to the literature part. But now I am in the chapter three because when we write a thesis, it is a story of our uh, work, right? So now I want I don't want to make it uh, I don't want to make it like a section uh, one point two manually because I might change the section number later on. So what I did, okay, I go to the reference. Okay, so uh, normally when I click reference, so I need to wait for a while. Okay, so goes to this one. Okay, can you see that your heading is uh, listed here? The reference type now is heading. What you have in the navigation is inside here. Okay, so now I want to uh, heading uh, heading number. Okay, I want to put it as a, my heading number there. So I 
click the section that I want to refer to. All right, so this one. Okay, so section. All right. So can you see? So this is the function of cross-referencing. Okay, so whatever it is, you can update the field later on. If you make any changes, don't forget to update this um, field. Clear? Uh, okay, and these cross-references can be used for your table and figure as well. Okay, uh, you can just uh, go to the reference type. If you want to make a cross-reference to your figure, then you select figure. Can you see this is the figure that you can um, choose? If you want to, uh, and don't forget to just only label and number. Okay, because the default one is the entire caption. If entire caption, they will give you all these things inside your uh, paragraph. We don't want that. We just want to have on the label and number. So for table, again, you can have a list of table here. Then don't forget only label and number. So this is how you can use the uh, cross reference. And this for me, in my experience, okay, when I write my, when I wrote my uh, PhD thesis, especially in this literature part, okay, when I give to my supervisor, sometimes uh, she asks me to change it, to make, oh, this one, I think uh, this one should come first, okay, this one, this one should should come first, okay, uh, then this one. So I need to rearrange uh, the chapter to a uh, numbering if I do it manually. Okay, sorry with the uh, noise background, noisy background here. Okay, so uh, you can just select what you 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 have here, move it, and this cross reference will help me a lot because I don't need to go to the every paragraph to check the numbering of the figures, tables, as well as the section reference. Is it clear, everyone? Right. Thank you, doctor. Uh, the page number, if you use this template, you just go to the uh, table of content, okay, and then you just update the field. It will do everything for you. Okay, so doctor, mm -hmm. there, there is another question from Mustafa Sulaiman. He was asking, please doctor, how can we customize our Microsoft Word to include Quillboard, Grammarly, Ref and Write, just like your Word page? Oh, okay, you can see my, okay, actually, okay, wait, I show. Uh... This one, right? Grammarly. Is it Grammarly? I would. I use the the uh, the free one. Okay, you can uh, you can buy or you can free. Okay, it depends. Okay, this one. Uh, what you can uh, do? You just go to the Grammarly. Okay, and then you maybe I can. Let me check. Is it same uh, or not? Okay, it's a very long time. Okay, let's take a look at together. All right, so here you can just go to the uh, Grammarly, okay, and then ah, download Grammarly. Okay, you can download and for Windows, you can have a .exe. And uh, when you want to install this one, you need to close all your Word file first, okay? And then you can uh, install it and then after that when you open i can't remember if you need to do something uh but after that when you open then you can get this um uh grammarly here okay so this is the tips okay for references i use mendeley and uh i didn't cover mendeley uh today because uh when i talked to dr amri uh mendeley uh referencing uh, Men uh mendeley will be conducted next week okay so that's our tentative because it's a fasting month so we break it into two we're not doing it uh for the whole day 
Okay. Uh, Mustafa, am I uh, answering your question? Oh, it's clear. He, re he replied. I saw what also had all the Okay. All right, dear participants, do you guys have any more questions that you want to ask uh, Dr. Efiana regarding about the thesis template? Uh, yes, uh, Chong. Um, <clears throat> uh, words have its own uh, reference, but so far, because I... I use Mendeley uh, when I uh, wrote my PhD thesis, so I'm familiar with that. And uh, actually, we have a lot of reference manager outside there. We have EndNotes, okay. Uh, I can't remember, but um, yeah, there is a lot. So you can uh, choose uh, either one that uh, you like, okay. But uh, since I mm, use Mendeley, since 2009 to 2008 okay so i keep until now and i think uh at that time i think mendeley is better uh compared to endnote okay we have our own preference and you can choose your own preference okay uh my my task or my job i think i just share whatever knowledge that i have and then you can choose either you want to follow or not mm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think uh, if you're uh, interested to know about the Mendeley, then we can uh, meet next week. Okay, doctor, there, there is another query here. Salam, doctor, I'm, I'm sorry I joined late due to time difference. He is finding difficulty to remove page numbering in the first three pages of, of his thesis, the title page and blank page. Um, Jacob, uh, maybe you can um, uh, contact me personally via my email so that I can help you personally, I think. You can just ask, uh, uh, screenshot or give your document for me to check it out because uh, it's very difficult for me when I, I'm not present uh, beside of you to check it, uh, the error. Okay, so a uh, gentle reminder to the participants to fill up the Google form in the chat in a chat box so that you can you can receive certificate and merit points, which will be recorded in your in your my UTM. So so guys, any other questions? Damu, you raise your hand. Any other question? No, Prof. Um, I, I, I was I, I just want to praise because of the wonderful presentation you had with us. No, uh, thank you. I hope um my sharing is uh, very beneficial to all of you, and I think uh this will save a lot of your time. Mm, okay. Okay. All right, so any more questions? If not, I think maybe it's time we can do a wrap up. So another five minutes to see if you guys have any questions. If not, maybe we can draw a conclusion for this uh, seminar. Go photograph. Wait, uh, I give them some final minutes to ask questions before I wrap up with the photo session. No, I said no photograph. No photograph? Yes. Oh, you want to take a, a group photograph? It's a new yeah. norm group photograph. Yes, Prof, for different purpose because yeah. of this wonderful uh, presentation. Yes, we will, have, we, 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 will take the, we will take a photograph later because I, I was waiting for it. If there's any, five more minutes, if there's any, any questions before I wrap up with the session, with a, with a large photo session. Okay, doctor, can can they get recording for this session for reference? I think it's provided, right? 
Um, yeah, because you, uh, you said that you want to share, so I think it, I'm okay with that. And so, um, uh, maybe Satish, can you share your email? Then I can share the doc because I do not know uh, how I can share the document in Webex because I am uh, I'm using Zoom actually. So, uh, can you guys help me? How can I share document inside here? Can we share document file in uh, in Webex? Doc here. Oh, I'm not. I'm yes, not doctor. Uh, maybe you can email it to me personally. We will email okay. them uh, through their uh, registered email. Yeah. All right. And okay. Also, so please give me your email. Sure. And also for the uh, video, we will be sharing it uh, in my Techni my trade B, which I already shared it on the uh, chat box. So you guys can view the entire video over there. Right. Okay. okay all right guys i think five minutes is up and i did and there's so far there's no questions to doctor so would you guys so to wrap up the session so once again i want to say thank you uh to dr noza for such an informative session on this uh microsoft word template so in the meantime uh i would like to kindly request all the participants to uh switch on your camera so that we can take a, a group photo for the as, as reference for this event so would you guys kindly if you're okay to switch on your camera so that we can take a group photo uh satish can you help me to take the photo sure perfect okay thank you mm. All right, next page. Hey, okay. All right, so um, I will start with the first page over here. I can see everybody's uh, smile is wide open despite the Ramadan. So in three, two, one. I, mean, uh, I will wait for Mr. Shehnu Jamusa. We do not know uh, our yeah, first page, so keep, on, uh, <laughs> so keep right. smiling. He ran to on his own. So keep smiling because we do not know. We own it now. <laughs> yes, uh, give him one minute. Perfect, no problem, sir. Can? Hi. Just I think he can join Mr. Timothy together if he can't do it. Come on, join me. Uh. You will pay. You will pay my camera. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Okay, so uh, we uh, will, I will snap it in the count of three. One, two, three. Say cheese. Okay, I'll, I'll move on to the second page. Freestyle. Freestyle. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right, and the third page. All right. Thank you so much. And I uh, will pass it to Rickson. Over to you, Rickson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, right. Doctor. Thank you so much for attending the seminar. So I guess this is the wrap up. So once thank again, you, Dr. Dr. thank you so much for the Please. session. Huh? Thank, thank you, Dr. you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. All yeah. the best for thank your writing. You. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Dr. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, welcome. Bye. Bye, Doctor Noza. Okay, bye. Thank you, Doctor.